Hi, glad you're back in my kitchen with me. I have a series, actually, of videos that I did back at the end of 2011, and I just found them again. Um, so, I'm going to introduce them to you and show you. Now, look. Okay, so, but would you please have a little bit of grace. Don't judge me. Because I did this series really early in the morning, over a prolonged period of time, I kind of woke up with an idea to do, to do this and then realized I want to share it with you. So you are probably going to catch a glimpse of like my bare feet or potentially my robe because I, I, I kind of got going before the day went going. So cut me some slack. But the content's good, and the information's good, so I, and I was thinking about sharing it with you, so that should count as brownie points, right? Anyway, the first of the series is just kind of introduce you to the mess, and what I did, what I did for um, the milk. And remember, this is after the holidays, so there's a lot of stuff that we don't normally eat in the fridge, and I gotta figure out what to do with it. So, first part, coming right now. Okay, I'm about to show you something scary. Cue the creepy music. <laughs> every, probably once a month, maybe every two months, but definitely after a holiday, I get into a cleaning frenzy of the fridge. Try to clear it out once a week to check on things that might be going bad and then make my meal plans and my soup container, throw things in the freezer before they go bad, that kind of stuff. And a kitty is dying to come over here. Um, but this is my, the contents of my entire fridge gutted and cleaned. I'll show you that. Hang on. See, I get obsessive once. Kitty? I get obsessive once a month. And so everything is cleaned out. And what I'm going to be doing is combining things, throwing out old jars, I hope, instead of keeping them, and um, <clears throat> kind of making a menu plan from all of this holiday food that we don't normally eat throughout the year, figuring out what goes frozen, dehydrated, canned, whatever, and put up so that we can, instead of wasting the money we spent on holiday food for leftovers, we can actually use them. But I wanted to show you the scary contents of my fridge all out on the counter. And I need to move kind of quick because I want to get a lot of it put back. But before I go there, this was one thing I wanted to show you for sure. I had two gallons of milk because we hadn't expected to have a little bit more uh, company use than we did on the milk side. Recipes we thought called for milk ended up not calling for milk but called for something else. So I ended up with a lot more milk on hand than I needed in the refrigerator. So I'm going to do what I usually do when I find milk on sale, is I freeze one. But because one of these was completely full, I think this one was, and this one was only about there, um, I'm doing my other budget thing, and first I'm extending it before I freeze it. So what is that? Um, this one I've already done it to, and then it dawned on me I needed to tell you. So I'm doing it to this one. I've got four cups, which is a quart of water, and I'm adding it to... Basically, it's half a gallon of 2% milk. And if I can do this while holding the camera, it will be a miracle. It's really early in the morning, so um, and it snowed. So I'm just kind of up and, and project-oriented right now. I really should be working, <coughs> but I'm not. And so we keep our dry milk in one of our spin lid can buckets in the pantry. We keep others down in the basement, but keeps it nice and dry. Those neoprene seals are awesome. And in it, I also keep my really expensive funnel <laughs> and a quarter cup so that I can mix um, a cup at a time, actually, because although the... See, this is where the one hand may not work well. Although the uh, instructions say 
to use one and a half cups for a quart of water. I actually just use one to one and a quarter because it's actually pretty rich. It has a little bit stronger of a flavor if I use the whole amount. So I'm going to put in one and a quarter and add it to this four cups of milk. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, probably not. I'm going to sit you down. Glory. So you can see how that works, maybe. I'm not sure if you can see down in there. There it goes. I really don't know if that focused. Okay, after that's done, this is something I usually like to do just because it helps me remember. This lid came off of here because it's blue. This lid came off of here because it's white. What I usually like to do so that I remember I already mixed this um, is trade the lids. And I'll mark it. Um, take a Sharpie, mark the date off um, because then we'll put the date on it once we've taken it out of the freezer, the date we take it out of the freezer. Because it's usually good for a little bit more than a week. Maybe a week and a half, 10 days. And off. I'm in a cleaning frenzy so I have plenty of wet rags around. And then we just shake them both up. And due to the fact that it's got this much space, this will freeze fine without popping the lid off of it. So this is going into the freezer as soon as I mix this one. It is going into the back into the fridge to be used. So we've extended it with the dry milk and we've put one in the freezer for a future date uh, that will be good for a week to 10 days once it's thawed. So that's my, I gotta get this done fast, but that's the first thing I'm doing on the massive fridge clean day. And I'll show you a few more things in another video. Okay, God bless, we'll talk to you real soon.